Hello everybody, and in today's video, we actually are going to do an update on the Aphrodite tweaking utility versus Risen Extreme tweak video. Uh, what I got in that video is not what they said I was going to get. Um, so I talked to them and they said it was down and now it's back up. They did contact us after that video uh, went posted up. So we're going to remake this and make it as fair as possible. Uh, I want to say some things about our last video of Paragon Tweaks, or I guess Paragon CPU Overclock versus Prison CPU Overclock. You should go watch that. Um, I forgot to make this clear in the video, but I actually got my Paragon Overclock before I started recording the first like intro, which is why um, I, it cut to me being already overclocked by them. Uh, I should have said that, it was very confusing, but with their time, I wanted to respect their time. Uh, I know everyone's busy. Uh, speaking of respect, I actually got a private DM from the person who I believe overclocked me. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really remember him. Um, basically just trolling me about that video. And then I actually got banned from both of their servers. So that is the first time that has ever happened in this series. And uh, I think not professional at all. And I actually had a lot of respect for Paragon um because they weren't overcharging for overclocks like someone else you may know um but i have now lost all of that um because your staff member has dm and you have banned me for really no reason i'm sorry you are not good at overclocking maybe learn how to overclock better but we are not talking about this is not a video about paragon this is a video about the new aphrodite utility so let's go ahead and get on with that Risen Tweaks, Risen Extreme Tweaks comes in at 30 USD and Aphrodite's Pro Tweaking Service or their utility updated 35 USD. So it's about $5 more for Risen Tweaks. You can use code Hydro15 at checkout and save 15% on any product from Risen Tweaks if you want to save yourself some money. I know I've said this in the past, but I wanted to make it very clear. I'm on a i7-10700F. I'm on 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM running at 3000 megahertz and I have a 1660 super. So let's go ahead and finish up and get on with this video. I'm going to showcase the Aphrodite, the new Aphrodite utility, and then I'll showcase the extreme panel and then we will do our tests and see who the winner will be. So let's get on with the Aphrodite showcase. All right, here we have the Aphrodite tweaking utility. Let's go ahead and open this. I do like how this works. I actually have already used this before to apply all my tweaks. Um, but yeah, no, it uh, has everything you would need. Windows, graphical settings for GPU, network. I like how they have um, stuff for Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and then ping specific optimizations. Uh, USB tweaks, this is nice. Now they actually do give you guides to overclocking and bio settings i think that that is very nice um you know maybe if they don't offer i'm not actually sure if they do or not maybe if they don't offer an overclocking service if they don't have the information to do it but it is nice that they offer these extensive guides and they offer a lot of guides that's very nice um you can even they give you contacts and they have a bunch of visual and i i like this this is a very nice thought out utility um i really do like this hopefully uh with all the tweaks it will do very well but um so far this is nice i love how this utility looks let's uh go ahead and see the risen utility get a showcase of that and then we will do our tests and see who the winner is for what utility gives me better performance and now i want to show you the extreme utility if you've watched these videos before you've definitely seen this um but it has this like little ui um for anyone new watching, I do want to show them this. It shows, it shows them your PC, like all this stuff. Now this is really important, but here's the stuff that's actually important. They have Windows uh, tweaks, performance tweaks, and all this stuff here you can read. They have network optimization, but I think that, yeah, this is Ethernet only. Hopefully in the next update, they'll have like Wi-Fi and specific stuff. The D bloat thing, this is pretty good. I have pretty low processes whenever I use this in most tests. And then GPU, they don't have um, Intel, but maybe that will change, but they actually have a lot more stuff for NVIDIA. And then 
They have the extra tab, which I keep it a mouse tweaks, some CP reg tweaks, I'm sure, and game specific priority. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to the test. See which see which utility gives me the better performance. On our stock test, our process count was 142. On our Aphrodite test, it was 134, a little bit less than stock. And on our Risen test, it was 55, giving Risen tweaks a point for the process count category. For the latency test on the stock OS, our highest process latency was 596.7 with an average of 7.18. Our highest DPC latency was 594.2 with an average of 3.98. On the Aphrodite OS, tweaked OS, our highest process latency was 252.2 with an average of 4.76. Our highest DPC latency was 230 with an average of 1.85. On our Risen Tweaks OS, our highest process count was 93 with an average of 4.53. Our highest DPC latency was 90.2 with an average of 1.21, giving Risen Tweaks the win again. Our buffer bullet score on the stock OS was an F. On the Aphrodite Tweaked OS, it was a F as well for the buffer bullet score. And on the Risen Tweaked OS, our buffer bullet score was an A. Now time for the, well, giving Risen Tweaks the win for the buffer bullet test. And now for the FPS test, which is definitely the most important. Our RAM usage for the stock OS was 8.2 gigabytes. I don't know why it says 7.2 in Afterburner. I believe that is a glitch. Our minimum FPS was 4. Our average FPS was 207. And our maximum FPS was 335. And our 1% lows were 2. On the Aphrodite Tweaked OS, our RAM usage was 7.3 gigabytes. Our minimum FPS was 163. Our average FPS was 213, a maximum of 238, and our 1% lows was 123. I do want to say that is very consistent, which is a lot better than having a very high maximum FPS, because as you see, our minimum and 1% lows are not as low. On the Risen Tweaks OS, our RAM usage was 6.7 gigabytes. Our minimum FPS was 186. Our average FPS was 232, and our maximum FPS was 360. And our 1% lows were 139, giving Risen Tweaks another point and winning this entire category, going 4 0. For the conclusion of this video, obviously Risen Tweaks has won for this video. Um, that is not the main point I'm trying to get to. I really don't think the Aphrodite utility is quite working right now. That sounds dumb because why would you make a whole video on this? Um, I actually had Jay, the owner or co-owner of Aphrodite, but I let him connect to my PC and use the utility and he ran some other stuff along with the utility, which is why we saw some increase in lower latency and stuff like that. But I don't believe their utility is working right now. Um, I don't want to get into much detail, but I want no hate towards Aphrodite, but I strongly advise not buying from them until they get this sorted out. Hopefully they will make an, an announcement on this because um, it did nothing to my PC. Um, but I was already too far along with recording whenever I figured that out, so I have to get this out. But yeah, I would strongly advise not buying from Aphrodite until they get it fixed, but this test and I guess we're gonna have to do another video on this if they get it fixed. Uh, Risen Tweaks is one for this video. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. We will hopefully post another video soon. We have a lot more ideas. Uh, probably Ultimate Tweaks coming up definitely soon. We've been getting a lot of that. Uh, and then we'll go from there. But um, if you want us to test specific utilities please comment and we will definitely try and get those if they're popular enough among the community but yeah that's it for this video make sure you use code hydra at checkout for 15% off any product from risentweeks.com